Welcome back to acbaw.com. Anyone can build a website. I'm Oliver Kenyon. I really hope you've been enjoying the lessons so far. And if you're worried that you've missed any, don't worry. At any time, you can go back to acbaw.com and view any of my previous lessons. In the last lesson, I gave you a tour of the WordPress admin panel. We came across a tab called Appearances. I'm going to show you in this lesson how you can use that tab to completely customise the look, feel and appearance of your brand new website. So let's go ahead and open up our browser. As you can see, I'm already on acbawexample.com, our brand new WordPress website. Now this looks fine, but it's obviously the default WordPress theme and we want to change this. So let's go ahead and log into our WordPress admin panel. Okay, so in the last lesson, I gave you a tour of the WordPress admin panel. If you missed that lesson, simply pause this and visit acbaw.com right now and view the previous lesson. Then come back to here and we want to look at the appearance tab. Here we can see that we've selected the default WordPress theme. We can manage the theme or we can select install themes to install a new theme. We can simply search for the name of the theme if we know the name of it, or if we don't, we can select any of the criteria below. For example, if we wanted a bit of white or red in our theme, we select white and red and any other criteria, and then click on the Find Themes button. The WordPress Theme Finder will then return the results for your chosen criteria. As you can see, there are literally hundreds of themes you can install for free and use on your website. If you see one you like the look of, simply scroll across and click the preview button. This will then pull up a preview of the theme. You can also see a user rating from other users who have previously installed the theme. If I wanted to install this theme, I simply click the install button. However, for the purpose of this lesson, I'm going to show you a theme I use for most of my websites. It's called Catchbox. It's a really good looking theme and I've used it on some of my own personal projects. Let's search for it and then go ahead and click the preview link. Now I know this might look a little bit bland, but on the next few steps, I'm going to show you how we can really customise it. So let's go ahead and click on the install button. The WordPress theme installer will then tell you it's downloaded the package, unpackaged it, installed it and then successfully installed the theme. Now all we need to do is go ahead and click activate. WordPress will then tell us that we've installed the theme successfully. Let's head on back over to the home page and click the refresh button and we should see our new theme installed. It might look a bit boring at the moment, but I'm going to show you how to customise it. Head on back over to your WordPress admin panel. Now we need to pay attention to the links underneath the theme. Each link will customise your WordPress theme in a different way. If we look at the thumbnail and the preview of the theme on the left hand side, we can see that there's a header image or logo. If we click the corresponding header link on the theme menu, we should be able to change this image. We are given the suggested size of our image. So if we go to the choose file button, select our logo, and then we need to simply click upload. WordPress then uploads our logo. We can drag and drop and click crop and publish. Once we're happy with our logo, scroll to the bottom and click Save Changes. We are then told the header image has been updated. If we head on back to our homepage, click Refresh, we can now see our brand new logo on our brand new theme. However, this is just one of many customizations we can make to WordPress themes. If we click the Appearance tab, we can see this theme also gives us the option to use a featured slider. This is a neat little tool that allows us to add an image to our new posts. We can then select via the post ID which posts and images we want to feature on the home page slider. If we head on over to the post page, we can see exactly how they're set up. As you can see, each new post is allocated an ID. We can grab that ID, put it back in the slider and it will display on the home page. So let's add a featured image to one of our posts. Go ahead and click set featured image on the right hand menu. On the next page, we're going to want to upload our file. Click Select Files and grab your image. 
Once your image has finished uploading, click it, and then on the right hand side, click set featured image. Now we can see our featured image that's going to appear on our post and on the news slider. We can simply click update. WordPress will then tell us that our featured image is updated. Let's go ahead and repeat step one on our second post. Click set featured image, upload file, select file, grab your image for your second post. Once it's uploaded, click it and click set featured image. We'll then see our featured image on our post. All we need to do now is click update. WordPress will once again tell us that it's updated, so all we need to do now is go back and grab our IDs. Then we need to head back to the featured image menu. Enter the two IDs, four and number one, and click save. The settings are now saved, so touch wood when we go back to our home page and click refresh, we should see our new featured image slider. Perfect. This is the beauty of WordPress. Literally anyone without any prior design or programming skills can create a brand new website with a custom theme and amazing little features like this. Each theme will offer you different add-ons and functions. So let's go take a look at what else this theme has to offer us. Once again, we're going to need to click the appearance tab. From the menu, I can see this theme offers a nice little social links plugin. Once open, you can see I've already entered in our Facebook page, but we've also got a Twitter page. So I'm going to go ahead and type in our Twitter domain in the Twitter field. Once complete, let's go down and click save. We are then told that the settings are saved. If I go back to the home page and click refresh and scroll down to the footer, which is the bottom of the website, I can now see a Facebook and Twitter icon linking to our Twitter and Facebook page. We also have a YouTube page, which some of you may be viewing our lessons on. So let's go back to the admin panel and enter in our YouTube domain www.youtube.com forward slash ACBAW tube. Once entered in, we're going to click save again. Now we're going to return to our home page and click refresh. If we scroll down to the footer, we should now see a YouTube icon alongside the Twitter and Facebook icon. I now want to make you aware of this right hand column on your website. These are called widgets. However, you may not wish to have all these widgets on your website. So if we go back into the admin panel, once again, we're going to click the appearance tab and under our themes options, we're going to find the link that says widgets. Once open, we can see under the main sidebar, all the widgets that correspond with the ones that are appearing on your website. For example, recent posts, comments, archive, categories and meta. We can simply rearrange the widgets by dragging and dropping them below or above other ones, for example like this. However, if we want to remove them, we can drag them over to the left hand menu. Now, if we visit our website, once again hit refresh, we should see the newly organised widgets appear on the front end. Now let's take a quick little look at what else this theme has to offer us. I'm going to tell you that not every option you see will allow you to adjust the front end or the design of your website. Some tools work on the back end. For example, the Webmaster tool. This is a neat little tool that works with Google Analytics to track how many new visitors and users you get on your website. Another cool little tool is the background tool that allows you to assign an image or a different color to change the background of your website. As I said before, each theme comes with different options. So when you install a theme, take a couple of minutes to look over these menus here and see how you can customize that specific theme. In this short 10 minute lesson, we've completely customized the look and theme of our website. Join me on the next lesson where I show you how to install WordPress plugins to enhance your site further. Thanks for watching.